for joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. A fatal boating accident on the Spring River down in Fulton County Saturday was the result of a sinkhole which opened up below the falls near Dead Man's Curve. The sinkhole is near the uh, Saddler Falls area just south of Mammoth Spring. No details about the boating accident or any names of those involved have been released at this time. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission issued a statement on Sunday asking anyone floating the Spring River in the Fulton County area to avoid that particular area. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and, the Ful and Fulton County, along with the Game and Fish officials, have installed buoys and roped off the area where the whirlpool is now located. The river is still open, but the barricaded area should not be breached. Officials say engineers will be on site this week to assess the area and look for a solution. 35-year-old James Thomas Weeks was arrested on drug charges following a brief vehicle pursuit last Friday night. During the routine traffic stop, the Weeks was asked to step out of the vehicle. He instead sped away in his truck heading east across the Henderson Bridge at a high rate of speed. Baxter County deputy pursued the fleeing suspect where he observed Weeks toss a bag out of the passenger side of the window. When Weeks reached the opposite end of the bridge, he suddenly pulled over and stopped and was taken into custody. Afterwards, the bag, which contained a gram of methamphetamine, some marijuana, and drug paraphernalia, was retrieved. He's being held without bond on a probation violation. Well, for the first time in Harrison Police's history, the department now has two trained canine units working with patrol officers. Harrison Police Department Patrolman David Atkar returned about a month ago from six weeks training and with the newest of the canine unit, Rocky. He's a German Shepherd trained in the Czech uh, Republic. Police Chief Paul Woodruff says the idea was to have the dogs available for use over more time during any given day. The first canine unit, Jerry, and his handler, Patrolman John Morgan, have been called out on numerous occasions when Morgan was technically off work, and now with two dogs, they will make that lot less problem. Both, uh, both dogs are trained in narcotics detection, officer protection, and apprehension and tracking. Woodruff says that Atkar and Rocky will appear at the Harrison City Council meeting soon so Alderman can get a proper introduction. Beaver Watershed Alliance has hosted the Watershed Discovery Day, a day to engage employee volunteers from FedEx Freight in Harrison and Tyson's Mexican Original Fedville to conduct watershed stewardship activities that will benefit the uh, town branch watershed area. Activities included planting 500 native trees along a, a buffer area at the Tyson Mexican facility, as well as a creek cleanup at the Walker Park in Fedville. The town branch watershed is a sub watershed area of the West Fork White River watershed that flows into the Buffalo, uh, excuse me, Beaver Lake, which is the regional drinking water source for one in six Arkansans. And a massive sculpture of a hog has been installed on the western edge of Fedville. The copper dancing wild boar stands some 25 feet from its, uh, from its hooves to the top of its ears. The hog, named Hog Eye, is a replica of the original logo for Hog Eye Incorporated, designed in 1982. The sculpture was installed Sunday in front of the Hog Eye Incorporated office complex between Fedville and Farmington on Highway 62. Hog Eye founder and co-owner Cliff uh, Slingard says he was looking to get a new sign for the business and decided it would be neat to have a unique uh, uh, artistic landmark instead of just a regular sign. He says they wanted to give something back to the area and this is a fun way to do that. 
Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TK08 News continues. On any given day here at Main Street Service Center, we might be working on the Ford like on the four post lift over my shoulder, or an Infiniti that's back on the back bay, or a Toyota, or a BMW, or right here a Hyundai. You just never know what's going to come into the shop and what their needs might be. But you can rest assured that at Main Street Service Center, whatever you're driving, we can take care of it for you, whether it's oil and filter changes all the way up to engine and transmission replacements. And get this, we've been in business for 29 years, and there's still things that we can't do, and we're not too proud to say it. So if you bring us something and it's over our head or out of our capabilities of expertise or tools, we're not too proud to say it because we want your vehicle fixed correctly, right, and the first time. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. It's heating up earlier than usual this year, and I want to remind you to stay hydrated. Of course, drinking water is super important for hydration, but we also stock coconut water, electrolyte drink mixes, and even some supplements that may help. At Nature's Wonders, we understand that busy, active lifestyles demand quality products that are quick and convenient to help us feel our best. Come see us for your active lifestyle needs and find out how affordable healthy living can be. Nature's Wonders, next to Thompson's Ace Hardware in Harrison. I love your new Corolla. Oh, my robot butler? Your what? My robot butler. It has all this tech. Open table, orders movie tickets. It does everything I want. Your Corolla? Robot butler. Yes. Does your robot butler have a name? No. That'd be weird. The 2018 Toyota Corolla. Made for the modern world. Right now, get $2,000 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a stylish new 2018 Corolla. Toyota. Let's go places. Summer is just around the corner and the staff at Harness Boots and Shoes are ready with all the latest styles of tennis shoes, sandals, dress shoes, casual shoes, boots, and hiking shoes. You'll find the most popular brands such as Merrill, Birkenstock, Chaco, New Balance, and Twisted X for men, women, and children. And if you don't find the style or color you want in stock, they'll be happy to order them for you. Don't forget, $10 down will hold anything in the store on Lillway. Harness Boots and Shoes on the west side of the square in beautiful downtown Harrison. Police in Little Rock say they are investigating the death of a 63-year-old man as a homicide. Authorities say the body of Lawrence Butler of Little Rock was discovered at his home on Friday night. Police say a member of the victim's family went to the house and discovered Butler's body slumped over. The uh, relative was unable to get inside and then called authorities. Butler's body was transported to the state medical examiner's office for a full autopsy. Authorities say that he suffered an apparent gunshot wound. Detectives have not released information about a motive or a possible suspect in Butler's death. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says Tyson Foods Incorporated is recalling more than 3,000 pounds of frozen chicken following the discovery of pieces of plastic in the chicken's breading ingredients. The chicken was sold in three-pound plastic bags of uncooked breaded original chicken tenderloins. The USDA says some of the chicken could be stored at food service institutions as, in, as opposed to homes and that there have not been any reports of injury or illness from that chicken. A Central Arkansas man has died a day after he was struck by lightning. Family, family members have confirmed 27-year-old Tyler Grisham died around 5 a.m. Saturday. Grisham had been hospitalized after being struck by lightning in the Mall Mill area around 2.30 p.m. on Friday. Grisham was working in his yard when the lightning struck him. The victim was injured as, uh, the victim was injured as a series of strong thunderstorms swept across central and southwestern Arkansas on Friday afternoon. Storms packing 60 miles per hour winds and quarter-sized hail blew down trees onto homes, roadways, and even power lines in the afternoon time frame. The National Weather Service says as much as three inches of rain was recorded in some areas. Grisham is the fifth lightning fatality in the United States this year and the first in the state of Arkansas. 
Well, Planned Parenthood is asking a federal judge to again block an Arkansas law that restricts how abortion pills are administered, saying the restriction makes the state the first in the nation to effectively ban that form of abortion. Attorneys for Planned Parenthood and the state appeared before U.S. District Judge Christine Baker on Friday and a little more than a week after the U.S. Supreme Court allowed the state to enforce the restriction. The law says doctors who provide abortion pills must hold a contract with a physician with admitting privileges at a hospital who agrees to treat any complications. And the top federal prosecutor in western Arkansas says he doesn't want to go after immigrants who are in the U.S. illegally but don't have a criminal record. U.S. Attorney Dwayne Keyes says he tries to target immigrants with criminal backgrounds but not someone who is raising a family and has a good job when his or her only crime is being here illegally. Attorney General Jeff Sessions directed all U.S. attorneys to ramp up prosecutions of illegal entry, document fraud, and aggravated identity theft regardless. Key says by arresting someone who hasn't committed a crime beyond being in the U.S. illegally isn't good for the community. Before we take a look at the weather forecast, as we move through the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Not there yet. We're getting close. The old saying, the dog days of summer are upon us. Temperatures in the low to mid to upper 90s, depending on where you are in any particular time frame. Humidity has been very high. And of course, we've had some pop-up thunderstorms around, all, well, all over the state of Arkansas and southwest Missouri over the last several days. Some people getting a lot of rainfall, others getting just a trace, some getting none at all. But regardless, the humidity has been anywhere from 60 to 80 percent on any given day. Well, it was another hot day here in the Ozarks today, 90 degrees plus in the afternoon with lots of sunshine and looks like it's going to get even warmer as we move on through the work week into the weekend, except for one day. We may have a chance of a little bit cooler temperatures and actually maybe a chance of a few more sprinkles. Here's the way it looks for tomorrow. Not much change for tomorrow, just even hotter uh, afternoon temperature on Tuesday afternoon under partly cloudy skies around 92 degrees. Pretty good chance of thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday. 80% chance, a little bit cooler as a slight cold front, if you will, goes to the north of us, 86 degrees. On Thursday, warming right back up to 93 degrees, 93 degrees on Friday. And on Saturday, under mostly sunny skies, again, 93 degrees. So definitely summertime temperatures here in the Ozark. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TK08 News continues. Plants, plants, and more plants. That's what you'll find at Camp's Plants in Harrison. Perennials, annuals, ferns, hanging baskets, shrubs, roses, decorative trees, and the largest selection of garden vegetables in the area. With different varieties arriving weekly, you're sure to find the perfect plant, shrub, or tree at the best price in the area. Camps, Plants, and Business for over 33 years in Harrison. Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together, we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people, serving local people in Harrison. Join Sammy Klein Thursdays and Fridays during the TK08 local newscast for this week's closing livestock market report. Made possible by Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Quality Feed Grains has you covered. Everything for cattle, pets, deer, equine, poultry, seed and spray, show feed, and garden. Check their website, qualityfeedgrains.com, now for this month's special. Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Proud sponsors of the Livestock Report with Sammy Klein on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. It's a little spicy. 
with standard safety features, plenty of cargo space. That's not hot for you. No. And advanced technology. The 2018 RAV4 is ready for any adventure. Get $2,500 customer cash or qualified buyers get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the adventurous 2018 RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of 10 cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. hit a grand slam to help South Carolina keep its season alive with an 8-5 to five win over nationally number five seed Arkansas in the second game of their NCAA Super Regional on Sunday afternoon. Tolbert's home run highlighted a five-run fifth inning for the Gamecocks who will face the Razorbacks in a deciding third game tonight with the winner advancing to next week's College World Series. Matt Chapman homered leading off the eight moments after shortstop Marcus Siemens defensive gym play and the Oakland Athletics beat the Kansas City Rolls three to two. Steven Piscotti and Jonathan Lucro all uh, both drove in runs for the A's who squandered numerous scoring chances before Chapman came through with a solo home run off of the Rolls reliever Jason Adams. And center fielder Billy Hamilton made a bunch of key defensive plays and the Cincinnati Reds ended their 13-game losing streak to St. Louis, beating the Cardinals seven, excuse me, six to three on Sunday afternoon. Hamilton threw uh, out two runners, then made outstanding catches against the wall in the eighth and the ninth inning. He also tripled and scored twice. The Cardinals' overall winning streak against Cincinnati was their longest since 1931 season. The Reds had lost 11 straight home, uh, home games against St. Louis. Clint Bauer won his second NASCAR Cup Series race of the season when the event at the Michigan Motor Speedway was called early because of heavy rain. Boyer uh, beat out Kevin Harvick on a, a restart to begin the third stage of the race. Then the race went under caution when Ricky Stenhouse Jr. went into the wall. Rain put a stop to the race early in the afternoon. The application period for Arkansas's special urban bow hunts for 2018-19 hunting season is now open. Hunters wishing to participate in the Bull Shows or Lakeview Hunt should contact the Bull Shows Urban Bow Hunters Association. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission works with the bow hunting group in order to help administer needed hunts in the urban areas. As a stipulation of the hunt, all hunters must donate their first adult deer harvested to the Arkansas Hunters Feeding the Hungry program. Additionally, hunters who participate in the hunts must attend a orientation where they must pass a proficiency test with their archery equipment. An orientation fee is collected by the Bow Hunters Association. And that wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. as we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area.